Welcome Legends to another Raid Shadow Legends video. Today we have a nerf, kinda, to Inquisitor Shimmel. Is he nerfed? Is he not nerfed? Let's find out. So basically what happened is, let's go to the Reddit post. Let's read what it says. Forewarned is forearmed so that the upcoming changes won't take you by surprise. We'd like to inform you in advance about the modifications to the mastery, deterrence, 20% chance to counterattack an enemy when they apply a stun, sleep, fear, true fear, freeze, or petrification debuff on the ally. Starting from the next week, December 21st, this particular mastery will have a cooldown of one turn. Since some of you might have unlocked this mastery and might want to reconsider this decision, you'll be able to reset your masteries for free one time, regardless of whether you've unlocked the mastery deterrence or not. All players will get this extra reset. Keep in mind, if you have unused free resets, the second reset won't be added. You will not get an additional reset from that, but it will replace any used resets that have already been used. So we want to explain what stands behind this decision. Deterrence has never been meant to be an endless trigger for counterattacks. In the past, this mastery did not cause any issues as there was no such a phenomenon as control reapplying. With the appearance of the Hydra, namely the Head of Torment, this problem has come onto the stage. Okay, so that's the problem. That's what they see as the issue. That's what they see as the solution to the issue. And let's go over the issue here real quick. So basically what happens is... He has the passive, Dauntless. Each critical hit fills the champion's turn meter by 7.5%. Whenever an ally receives a fear or a true fear debuff from an enemy, the skill will instantly remove the debuff and fill the ally's turn meter by 15%. Now, as this applies to the Hydra head, this is where it comes into play where it's requiring a nerf is the Hydra boss, Hydra clan boss fight, where Inquisitor Shamel is over here being a very nice complementary character to that that fight the same way that a man eater is a very nice complementary character to the clan boss fight the normal clan boss demon clan boss so we have inquisitor shamel here here's what i want to see and here's you guys tell me what you guys think about this in the comment section below all right when you pull champions how many times we pull a champion we go oh okay bum trash you know, whatever, it's it's whatever, it's a throwaway, it's another one, it's another one, it's just, you know, just a random champion, it's whatever. And then you get to pull somebody like a Maneater, for example. You pull Maneater, you're like, oh, shit, I can't believe I just pulled a Maneater. Oh, what? That's nuts. He's going to do something to your account, add something to it that wasn't there previously, take you to another level. That's what I would like to see out of more characters, okay? You guys tell me what you guys think about that. I would like to see that utility, that kind of like, oh, my God, I can't believe I got somebody out of more characters not less okay so that's the point i want to make right here is i don't want to see heroes become less useful or not be useful in the first place let's make heroes that are useful that people can look forward to pulling on their account give them incentive to want to pull and make it feel like every pull is is a jackpot you know what i'm saying every pull is a man eater or an Inquisitor Shamel, or a Eurogram, or a Madam Ceres, or an Umbral Enchantress, or a Seer, or a Sky Touch Shaman. I mean, like, all these characters right here in this little, this little nook right here are amazing heroes. If I pull any of these, Ursula, for example, I pull her, I'm going nuts. She's game-changing. So I know a lot of these are, you know, void characters, kind of make up a, a lot of the, the good characters, but it doesn't matter. I check the Winder over here, amazing character. I want to get it to where... You pull a character and you're always like, I'm pulling an amazing character for something, okay? So when it comes to nerfing things, I don't feel that nerfing the champion is really uh, the solution. So let's go over why. And I'm a programmer. I want you guys to understand that for a day job, I do programming for, I used to do programming for a living. That's what I did. I did programming for, you know, day in, day out. I program things. I'm a programmer. So I understand programming behind games. I understand what goes into the programming. I understand programming philosophy, programming mindsets. You know, how a programmer thinks. And I'm going to tell you guys right now that I think when you bring out a Hydra boss, for example, and this is this is where the content comes in a, a problem. No one was complaining about Inquisitor Shamel before the Hydra boss, right? And I'll tell you, he was perfect, absolutely perfect for faction wars. You put him up against one of those guys, drop, or even Arena, for example. Machalet, he's like a kind of a counter to someone like that. Um, he had use, and he had utility, and he was very good at what he did. He's very good at his niche. And I love it. Inquisitor Shamel is one of my favorite characters in this game before we even dropped the Hydra boss. So I want to see more characters get more utility out of them. And I don't want to see characters get nerfed. Now, I definitely don't want to see characters get nerfed because one piece of content came out that made them, in some people's opinions, overpowered. So think, keep this in mind for a second. 
We weren't complaining before the Hydra Boss came out. Now that the Hydra Boss is here, people are complaining about Inquisitor, and it's really not so much complaining about the utility of them, but more so complaining about I don't really have them, and I can't use them, and I'm looking forward to trying them out. I mean, I just pulled Maneater for the first time like a week ago, the first Maneater, and then I was lucky enough to pull a second Maneater like immediately afterwards. Consider me completely blessed. I haven't even ran one Maneater comp yet. You see two of them right here built up. I haven't even ran them one time. So feeling super blessed. I mean, you want to pull these types of characters. You're feeling like this is what I'm, I'm here to do is get in-game type of characters, in-game type of content. I want to knock it out. So anyways, let's get back to this Hydra Boss. Um, Hydra Boss comes out and he breaks the, the game. Literally, he broke the game. That's what you could say because they're nerfing a, a mastery, an entire mastery that worked perfectly before this boss came out. Now, in my mind, that is not the proper way to do things, okay? If you bring out a boss and he breaks the game, I believe that the boss is what's broken here. Like, it's literally the boss mechanic that's broken. If it wasn't broke before, why are we fixing it? You know what I'm saying? It wasn't broke, okay? So it's not broke now. What really is broke is the Hydra Boss. Okay, now if we broke the Hydra Boss, and we broke the game by bringing in the Hydra Boss, we should fix the Hydra Boss. And that's where I'm kind of differentiating like my stance on other people's stances. I don't want to nerf Inquisitor Shamel. I don't think we should nerf a Mastery. I don't think we should break the game or change the game in any kind of way just because we created in-game content and released w basically one boss. And this boss is so cool, it's basically a head that's the problem. One head. Now, that's the cool thing about this boss is the fact that you're going to have multiple heads. You're going to have a new head, bring in new mechanics and doing new things, doing this, doing that, and make you think and blow your mind and be like, yes, I want to be able to strategize. But we don't want the game to be broken and we don't want the heads to come in and just completely break the game. So what I would suggest is instead of taking this cooldown and putting it on this mastery here, which wasn't broken to begin with, Put the freaking cooldown on the damn Hydra Boss. You know what I'm saying? Like, why can't you fix the Hydra Boss instead of fixing the Mastery? Or fixing the Shamel? Why can't you fix the Hydra Head? Why can't you put that cooldown on the Hydra Head itself in the actual Hydra Encounter? You can. So community, hear me now. Hear me when I say this. We can fix this by fixing the Hydra Head. And they can fix this by fixing the Hydra Head. You don't need to fix Inquisitor Shamel. He wasn't broken. You don't need to fix that Mastery, which wasn't broken. And you can do it just by fixing the head. The head is what broke the game. Fix the head. That's what I would say. I'm not here to, to nerf Inquisitor Shamel. I haven't even used him. I haven't even done the Hydra fight yet myself. Today is going to be the last day to do it. Um, I'm going to use all my keys today. And I'm actually going to, as soon as this video is over, I'm going to go start strategizing and, and doing test runs. And I'm going to come up with a video for the Hydra boss next. So right now I'm going to go start using my Inquisitor Shamels, which is actually built for the arena. <laughs> He's in the Swift Parry and a Resilience set over here, ready to rock. I'll get on that. But I haven't even used them yet. They're already ready to nerf him. The community's already outraged. They've already been screaming, nerf Shamel, nerf Shamel. I don't think he needs the nerf. I think the, the head needs the nerf. The head needs something done to it. If the head broke the game, fix the head. So that's my stance on it. Also, last thing before I, I get on to the next video is uh, they're allowing you to reset your masteries for free, man. Take advantage of this. Take advantage of this. I know it's going to be hard for some of you people who spent gems to change your masteries to take advantage of this, you know, a free one's a free one. Might as well take advantage of it while you got it. For those that don't, you know, don't use your free ones, go use your free ones now. If you have a, one hero that you want to change the masteries of, you don't like the way that they're, they're working out, you, you don't like the way it went, use it right now. Take advantage of this right now. I could use this for my Shamel. I don't, you know, necessarily want them built for the arena, right, per se. I, I want to rebuild them for the Hydra boss. Boom. Reset. And then I got my reset free coming right back right after that. So that's an amazing thing that's doing here. I mean, I everybody's getting a free reset for every hero. That's like it's basically like starting the game over again from scratch for free. I mean, take advantage of this while it's here. But I don't think this is the proper fix. I don't think this is the way they should be doing things. Let's fix the head, man. Let's put this this cooldown on the head. Let's get it done right. That's my stance. Hope you guys are having a great day. See you guys in the next video. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you guys enjoy this one. If you guys want to see some more content, peace.